Hi, I'm Julie, and welcome to my channel, Fun Affiliate Family. Today, I'm gonna to take you inside the Book Bolt Studio, where you can create your book's cover. The interior pages are already made. There's over 100 to choose from, and you can also personalize those. And you can use Book Bolt to create puzzles if you're creating an activity book. So, let's go check it out. Here we are on the Book Bolt website. And if you already have a Book Bolt subscription, you just want to go over here and log in for the Book Bolt Studio Tour. I'll bring you that in just a moment. But for those of you who have not used Book Bolt before, you may want to start with this free three day trial. As you see here, you will have access to hundreds of interior pages. You can find the trends, you can find the categories you need, and the keywords you need to get your books on Amazon and to appear in the search results that people are looking for. So let's head over and start our studio tour. So when you go inside the Book Bolt Studio, you will start a new project and here's where you choose between paperback or hardback and you either wanna design your cover and interior together or you can also design them each separately. Um, so when you go to download, it'll give you the option. And when you download, you'll get your cover and interior files. In, they'll be in separate files, but you'll get them all together. If for some reason you only, only want to make an interior or you only want to make a cover, you can choose those and do them separately as well. I'm just going to do the cover and interior together. I'm going to name this Journal 2. And then your size, there's lots of sizes to choose from. I like to make the six by nines. Those are pretty popular and pretty simple to make. And then uh, black and white with white paper is the cheapest. And you want to keep your cost down for your customers. If you are making a children's book or something where you do have interior pages with color, you might want to pick one of these because it will, you know, you definitely need the color. And then the premium paper here will be best if you're making um, some sort of children's book or a page with lots of interior um, pictures. Now, page count, I'm always just doing 100. Bleed or no bleed, it's important you keep this consistent. You need to remember what you choose because when you upload it to Kindle Direct Publishing, you need to specify bleed or no bleed. So here's bleed, that just means the images will go to the edge of your page. All covers are bleed anyway, so you don't have to worry about that for the cover. But for your interior pages, I would just leave that at bleed and then click on Create Project. This is your template that you will use to create your cover. This will be the front cover. This will be the back cover. Here's your spine. You can see it's pretty narrow for a 100-page book, so I don't think you're going to get any words in there. Um, you can try, but it's going to be really hard. Over here, they're going to put a barcode. KDP will generate that barcode for you. You won't have to worry about it. So just leave this area blank right here. Your words will need to be between the dotted lines. You'll see the green dotted lines on all sides. So just make sure you center your title here and you do have to have a title or they will not publish your book. Um, other things, whenever you pick your pictures, they need to be covering the pink. You don't need any of these peachy pink lines showing at all. So let's go over here and pick one. You're gonna click here, file library, and it brings up lots of images. These are ones I've used recently. Um, then you can also, click here to see other images. You can be more specific in your search. If you want to have certain colors, you can do that as well. Um, different categories you can pick as well and search and it will bring up some suggestions for you. If you do have something you want to use yourself, you can always go over here to uploads and do, do that as well. So once you find a picture that you want, you will just click on it and it will put it into your design. Now, here's an example of one that I probably wouldn't want to use because it's really going to, you know, going to go on this front cover or you could have the exact same picture on the back cover, but um, it's just not right. I would like something that's more landscape that you can use that one picture and it will cover the whole from the front and the back. All right, so I really love this image here of the roller skate. So I'm going to show you how I usually size. I put it kind of in a corner one corner or the other it really doesn't matter and then i click and drag to get you know the picture up and you want to make sure you can see down here there's a little bit of pink so i'm going to click on it and pull it down and now there's a little bit of pink so you can either do this it may distort the image a little bit or you can just keep on pulling that make it bigger now i want my skates to kind of be in the center there if i can so luckily there's enough space over here for me to do that um, it really doesn't matter if the skates are over the green edge, but you just want to make 
you know, safely say if it's inside of this green, right? So it's kind of centered between. So that's going to be my cover because this little bit right here is the spine. And this outer green here will be the edge of where your text would be. So that said, that looks pretty good, um, I think, the way it's situated. Now, what do you want your book to say? Well, it could say all kinds of things. It has to say something, though, because you have to have some sort of title on there. So I clicked over here in this box that has the T. Let me show you again. Click right here. And it's going to bring up some options for you. It just kind of depends. You can play around with these. This is just your regular heading. Um, you can change the colors. You can change the fonts. You can change, well, that was, these are the fonts over here, sorry. The fonts, um, you know, italicized or whatever you like. You can see this would help you get a shadow effect. It kind of tells you along the way what's what. This will help you center it. Um, all right, so you see how now all of a sudden my cover looks kind of wonky. Um, first time this happened, I freaked out a little, and then I realized this box was open. So you close the box, and it goes back to kind of normal. So my heading's going to need to be centered between this green dotted line and this green dotted line. You think they would make a centered spot for that right now. Um, you can click on here, here. It will align your text, left, right, or center. Um, I'm going to click center and just show you what happens. All right, I think it did it, did it? Okay, maybe it's taking a second. All right, so let's try that again. Click here, I'm gonna say right, and let's see what happens. Looks like it might be working on it. No, nothing, oh, I think it's doing it with inside the box itself. So it's not gonna really center it on the page or anything like that. So that's okay, just to let you know. Um, position and size, that would be if you knew where you wanted it to be exactly from the top center, things like that. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that. I always just kind of eyeball it. So now, what did I want my journal to say? Uh, I don't know. I usually say something pretty simple like notes or journal. This one I may say memories because it makes me think of when I was a kid and we'd go roller skating at the skating rink after school, things like that. So there's lots of different fonts in here you can use. Um, let's see, Maybe I need to highlight it. So there you go, highlight it. And then, so there you see when I clicked, it moved the whole picture. I do that a lot. You need to make sure you actually click on the words. All right. And you know, you can change the, the, um, color or whatever you want. Um, I might do that. Let's see. So to do that, you're going to click, oh, that's shadow. Click here for color. So if you wanted it to kind of match, um, you can kind of play around with it. See what you like. Kind of like that a little bit. Um, sometimes I go back and change things around. Let's see what else. I'm going to click here. Um, I don't know. I wish I could ask you guys what you think, but what do you think? All right, once you have your cover complete, you're going to turn your attention to your interior pages and you'll see down the side you have all of the pages. Now I've done a few here that are lined already, but I'm gonna show you how I did that. You're gonna click on the page you want and click on this, it says page templates, kind of looks like a puzzle. And these are all the pages that you can use. Now some of these, if you don't have, if I have pro, so, if you don't, you won't have access to the puzzles. If you do have Pro, then you'll have access to the puzzles as well. But you can also search for whatever it is you're looking for and see if they have it here. Um, so they have things, this says a reading list. They have body trackers. You could create a health journal with different things in it. There's a fishing log. There's daily planners, monthly planners, all kinds of things that you can use to create a custom journal. I created one using the blood pressure log, the diabetes tracker, also created, um, uses vitamin and supplement tracker, put that in there as well, along with a calendar that I made in Word and created a doctor's appointment journal of sorts. Um, so let's just go ahead and show you how to add some pages. So let's say I want to add some of this graph paper right here. You're going to click on it 
there are different options to choose from for graphs. So I'm just going to pick one of those. And then because I have these three here had lines, this is where I need to start. It says current. I'm just going to click on the pages there to add. And then you scroll down over here. This will show you all 100 pages. But um, and then you're going to click next. And then this is if you need to customize it further. I would not touch this. Just click submit and it will show you the graph paper on those pages. So now you'll see you have a cover and then you have line pages and then some graph pages. And that is how you will build your interior for your book. So there are a lot of books out there and journals that have line pages. You're going to probably want to customize it a little bit. If you see over here, there's a lot of shapes that you can use and add um, to your notebook pages. So you could have each page even have different items. So let's just click on the stars here and you could put those down kind of in the center, um, like at the bottom. If you want to change them, make them just a little bit more like see through. You could do this right here and change the opacity of them so that people could still, you know, use their books and such. Now you see that it added the shape over here. So let's just go and do one more just for comparison's sake. Um, this time we're going to add some text. So let's say we're just going to add the word notes to the page. You can change everything about it, you know, the type of font that you might want. Um, I can't forget, you have to highlight it and then you can change the font. All right. And then if you want to change the size of the font, you can do that as well. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so I can put it up here at the top. So I'm going to, whoa, I'm going to try to click on the notes and pull the notes up to the top. Whoa, second time I've done that. So when that always fails, you can just use your arrow key. So I'm going to move it up to the top of the page if you want the word notes up there. All right. So that would be custom as well. So then you see it over here on the side. So if you decide, you know what, I don't like the notes, you can go over here and you can delete it. You see some of the same functions here. Um, lock would keep it in place. That would be a good thing to do with those lines. You can just delete it as well over there. So that way you can customize your pages, make them a little bit different than, you know, everyone else's books. If you want to get pick out some things that would set yours apart from all of the other line journals out there. That's your basics for the Book Bolt Studio right there. So when you are done, you're going to save it. You're going to click project, download the project, you have your choice, RGB or the CMYK. This is, I would pick um, this. I think the colors are a little more vibrant. Um, also, just to show you a couple more things up here, there is under help, they have walkthrough bubbles, which will like show you little tips and things throughout. Um, if you have any problems, submit a help ticket right here. And the knowledge base, the walkthrough tutorials, tutorials are really good to help you get beyond just the basics here of the book bolt. So when we're done, we're going to click download. Um, and it does take a little while to download because it's, it's going to do this for, and it took me a while. You see this Q number. So you're just going to hang tight. It'll download it. It will put it in two different files. You're going to save those on your computer. And when it's time to upload to Kindle Direct Publishing, that's what you're going to do. Um, I will say this, you'll want to watch my videos on KDP. Um, there's a new one out for this year because they did make a few changes, just like BookBall made some changes. Um, so you're going to go to Fun Affiliate Family YouTube channel. You're going to look for that particular video. And it is the Kindle Direct Publishing video and watch that and it will walk you through the whole process and i can't wait to see what you create all right guys i hope you enjoyed the tour of the book bolt studio thanks for watching and if you have any comments just leave them below and be sure to subscribe to the channel thanks